go right into a 90-90 stretch. And this is more of a coach's class right now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to tailor this just so I can tie you into some concepts that are a little more important in terms of longevity for both athletes as well as those who care for athletes. This 90-90 stretch, it's two right angles or 90 degree leg angles. And what this does is it simultaneously works both hips at different angles, slightly accentuating internal external rotation. Relaxation is the overall goal, so just be able to get into the 90 degree angles and then just relax in them just like this. Then try to sit up and stay here as long as you can. Usually it helps if you have like an elevated surface. This is when things like yoga blocks come in handy. You can lean on them. It makes it easier because <clears throat> your fingers look at tired. They're going to get strengthened too. Helpful positions here. Hand underneath to keep the right angle. And then you can kind of lean forward. This is when you can lean and stretch the right glute a little bit more. You can transverse turn and stretch through the erector spinae. Pardon me, if you really want to get to that psoas, you have to get it through the extension of the latissimus dorsi. So right there, you can get through the psoas. It's an amazing spot. A lot of people have a difficult time with the psoas. Getting to the external rotator <clears throat> at about the three minute, par, uh, three minute mark, which we're probably at now. I like to pin down the back knee and get some external rotation. The piriformis is responsible for this external rotation. A lot of you over 40 crowd, yeah, you know about the piriformis. <laughs> you didn't know about that when you were under 40. Isn't that funny? And then we'll hold this. Four, three, two, one. And then just to give you a similar look, I'm gonna come around, put this 90 degree angle out, this 90 degree angle out, and just try to post up as best I can. Let's see if I can move over. There we go. All right, I'm just constantly trying to elevate the way I stretch. Now the recovery game, the flexibility game, it's a bigger game than the actual training itself. So while I'm here and you know what I'm doing, I'm gonna tell you about what you should not do. Don't lift weights, don't squat, <clears throat> pardon, don't do the things that most people do. It's just because it's been done doesn't mean it should be. Basketball players, the jumping and landing that you do, that's your force application. That is your weight lifting. That is exactly what your body needs to do is adapt to the jumping and the landing, improve your technique, with jumping, with landing, with footwork, with the association of skill development and the tying in of the new acquisition of skills, it all comes down to jumping and landing and sports skills, not weightlifting, which is a paradox because I'm in a weight room, but what am I doing? Stretching, why? Open space, it's quiet. I can come in here, we can do this kind of work. Underneath the knee to maintain, and again, just like before, you can stretch forward to get kind of the erectile spine. If we want to get at that psoas, it's through full extension of the latissimus dorsi. And of course, if we're looking for that piriformis work, we're doing that external rotator, right? Let's go ahead and get 10 of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll hold here. and then we'll come through, and then we'll go hurdler stretch. So what we're gonna do here, hurdler, and then instead of coming up with the leg, what I want you to do is I want you to externally rotate, <clears throat> make your ankle flat this way, and then lean back. This is hurdler stretch. I'm just gonna to talk to you while we do this. So with your jumping, your frequency is you're gonna do it at the same frequency you do swamp lunges and your lateral lunges with. Train, recover, train again. What's usually every three or four days. That's how it goes. It's a natural training frequency. It's what your body needs. You'll adapt over time, but with over time, your activities may evolve as well. 
every time you add something. Basic relativity says something has to be taken away. You can't just keep adding to a full cup. It's going to overflow. With more accentuation of the quad, you can kind of move back a little bit. You can go to the side, lean back. I like this too. The longer you take time to stretch, the better it's going to be for you. You might not feel it right away, but later as you're moving, the alignment's going to take place. A lot of athletes will reach out to me. Let's go ahead and switch now. Do this very slow. Bring it up like this. Over. Extend. Now, bring this leg back. I'll turn so you can see it a little bit better how I'm doing it. And then right here, flat. And here we are again. I want you to focus more on recovery. I want you to focus more on stretching. Stop lifting weights. Start doing swamp lunges. Stop doing Olympic lifts. You're not a weightlifter. You're a basketball player. The forces that your body needs to get used to are the forces you're creating. The jumping, the landing, the pushing, the pulling. That's everything you're getting already, which is all that and then some. People that are trying to sell you on lifting weights are still stuck in a stone age. It doesn't need to be done. You can try to sell people on the benefits, but... Listen, foolish people will listen, and the circus is in town. Look at this. We're 2024. You got people who shouldn't even be talking or talking. You know what I'm talking about. So when you want more, change the body angle. Come back with it. And you can really feel it going through the thigh muscles, quadriceps, four muscles. And what they do is they extend the thigh. Okay, once we're done, watch how we get out of this. Nice and slow, bring it to the middle, bring it up. And now I'm gonna show you something else that we do. Extend the leg. And now we're gonna drop this all the way down. And then we're gonna keep the knee kind of on the shoe so it has a slight flex. Kind of like when I recommend you laying on the bed to keep your heels off the bed. It's in the slight flex. Otherwise, what you're doing is you're putting too much stress on the popliteus, which is what prevents your knee from hyperextending. Remember this. Improper stretching causes injuries. We're going to extend one leg. You see the space? You see the space? Watch. Now we're going to bring this leg down, pin that knee to the floor, and then we have a slight flex. So we're not here like most people do it. That's not the way. We're going to keep a flex there. All right? What we're doing is it gives us a little bit more leverage to bring this, my right, your left, this knee down, which then gives us an opportunity to stretch a little bit more into the pocket of the pelvis. Yep, I'll show you this one too. So most people, what they'll do is they'll straighten their legs out. We don't want that. Hands, underneath hamstrings, slight flex. Is that what you do? Is just posture up and sit forward. Posture up and sit forward. It might be tough for you to see. I'll turn on the side. So you start here. You posture up right here. My hamstrings, they're stretching. Bring your toes towards you. Your calves are stretched. Straighten your legs out. The whole deal stretch. Posture up. There it is. So the way you stretch has to change if the way you want to recover is to change. I got really good at this recovery game when I was forced to put my body back together after that car accident. Went through a lot of surgery, didn't have a lot of help, was forced to figure it out. Figured it out, got it done. So now what I do is I help other people to get it done. Most of the times there's joint issues, ankle, knee, hip. <clears throat> it's not a structural damage issue, unless it obviously is, in which case you would know through X-ray or MRI. But if we're not talking structural damage, and you have pain in the ankle, knee, or the hip, that means the pain is in between those joints, locked up in a muscle somewhere. So you need to learn how to release. That's a whole nother thing in general. That's a class I can give, and there's too many things. <laughs> there's too many things. But just to give you an idea, pain in the joint, most of the time, unless there's structural damage, <clears throat> it's because of energy or muscles that are storing trauma and it needs to be released. Techniques that involve two joints 
and sometimes three multi-joint movements can release those joints. And it's all to do with muscles. Soft tissues trap trauma. Soft tissues affect the way joints move. And if you're not paying attention to flexibility and what happens inside the body when it stores trauma, then what's going to happen is the body's not going to be as optimal as it should be. All right? So just to wrap this class up, recovery has to be the priority. Sleep is number one. Flexibility, the way you hydrate, the way you emotionally cope, the people that are around you, your energy, the way you carry it, all that goes into the way you recover. Actually, your lifestyle has more to do with being happy to recover than anything else. Happiness is going to be the main ingredient that keeps you encouraged and that keeps you linked to your higher power, that keeps you grateful, and that keeps you returning to the positive pep program, the way you speak to yourself and live your life. So this is Coach Lemanchek asking you to take more of a stake in recovery, create some more time for yourself, learn some new things in terms of ways to stretch your body and take time with it. If you're not good at yoga, do yoga. Do qigong. Try new things that you don't know and then watch those things benefit you. Being a great athlete has a lot to do with being a great person and the things that you learn, you share and the experiences and, and the fruits from the wisdom tree that you've learned along the way, you, you hand them out to people. Otherwise, that journey dies with me. What good would that be, right? So as a 46 turning 47 year old coach, at this point, it just makes me happy to be. Take care.